Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I will discuss a method for the extraction of the weights from the Taguchi results, and these weights will be used for the multiple object of op objective optimization of the gradation analysis or composite desirability method or any of the techniques you can use. In this research paper, we have three responses: material removal weight (CE) and surface roughness (SR), where we have four different factors: N, F, A, P, and A, E. There are three levels associated with each of the factor and the response, and the weights will be computed on the basis of range, sum of the range. So now, first of all, you will have to make these tables. These tables are basically the mean response tables. You can create these table by yourself in the Excel, or it is very easy to compute them in the mini tab. It will take only few seconds. Now it's up to you. However, I've Made the videos to ex to make these tables and these tables. Now, how we can get this value? For example, if you want to extract this value five one three seven, how you can get it? So you will have to note down few things that this value is related to the material removal rate and first factor n at, at level one. Now we go up and in the table two and table three, we have to focus on GRC material removal rate. And the factor n at level one. So level one is from experiment number one to experiment number nine. When we take the mean of these nine GRCs for the material removal rate, these nine, so we will get over mean value of zero point five one three seven. Let me do the second one that is bit tricky. So in this, uh, for this value, we will have to focus on F factor material removal rate level one. Now we go towards again table two and table three. How we can calculate it? This is the F column GRC MRR. We are focusing on level one. Level one is 200, but but that all 200 values are not in a sequence. So there are three values that is cor that corresponds to experiment number one, two, and three. So we'll actually we will note down these three values in the Excel: 0.333, 0.4, 0.5714. So I have noted these three values. Then we will search for the values that corresponds to 200. Again, there are 10, 11, and 12. So now we will have to search the values in the GRC MRR for the experiment number 10. So let me do it. It's 0.4706, 0.3636, 0 and 0.3810. Let me include in. So now we have done with it. Now we, the last three values. So again, I have to search for 200. The 200 is at experiment number 19 to 21. Highlight it, and now we go for the 19 number experiment. And here it is 0.4, 0.3478, 0.4, and 0.444. So I note down all these values in the Excel, and then when I got When I take the mean of all these nine values, I got 0.41052. You can take, you can see the formula here of the average. So now, when we confirm 0.41052, 0.4105. Okay. So in this way, we we can compute this response table. However, I make the detailed videos. So now, after getting all these 12 values, uh, sorry, after getting all these nine values, we have to compute the range. What is meant by the range? The range is the answer we get when we subtract the least value from the maximum one. So in this case, we have the for the n we have maximum value of 0.5137 and the minimum value at level number two 0.438. And upon subtraction, we will get 0.0757. You can do it in the calculator. Similarly, for f. The maximum value is 0.5259, and the minimum is 0.4105. You will get 0.1153. You will have to do the same for the rest of these two. So you will get these four ranges. Now take the sum of the all these four range values. You will get 0.5731. Now repeat these steps for CE as well as SR, and note down in the Excel. Once you note down the Excel, now it's time to understand this formula for the extraction of the weights. The numerator of this formula is depicting that sum of the ranges for any response variable divided by sum of all of the ranges. For example, 
first of all we will solve the denominator we will take the sum of all these four all these three ranges 0 0.5731 0 0.5731 and 0 0.4027 in the excel so i noted all these values in the excel you can see it here and then i took the sum of these three values it it comes out to be 1.7289 now we go towards the numerator numerator is the sum of the range for any response variable let's suppose i am taking 0 0.57331 that is the sum of ranges for four factors that has been included in the study now in the excel when we divide this 0 0.5731 by 1.73 by 1.7289 we will get this answer you can see it here by using the formula this is e2 basically when we divide e2 by e6 we got 0 0.3315 when we come down e3 divided by e6 i mean 0 0.5731 divided by 1.7289 we will got our second weight and similarly the third weight and you can confirm it here 0 0.3315 okay when we multiply those weights with 100 we got these values 33.15 43.56 so 33.15 43.56 and 23.25 to nine. So this is the method for the extraction of the weight that can be used in the multiple objective optimization. However, I have also made a video in, the, in which there are further two, two methods for the extraction of the weights that can be used for the multiple objective optimization. Thanks a lot for watching the video. My WhatsApp number and my email address has been provided to you people. You can contact me at any time. Bye.